today's video. So for today's video, I thought I would basically just film a question and answers video. I'm basically going to be doing an all about me tag. It's not really a tag, just basically an all about me get to know me video because I feel like I have gained a few subscribers within the far past few months and also the last one I filmed with this was I think my second or third um, video that I ever posted on YouTube so I thought that I would film it for you guys seeing as it's been nearly two and a half years I think maybe even more than that since I last filmed that so I thought that I would film an all about me video for you guys also because I kind of just feel like I want to have a sit down chatty video t as well today. The rain has come, it's pouring out with rain so yeah there's not really anything to do um, and I thought that I would film this for you. So without further ado I do just want to say that if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then please go and do so because it really helps me out there's also a notification button that you can press whilst you're down there to be notified when I upload more videos and also check out my social medias they're always linked down below as well as on the screen somewhere and without further ado if you haven't yet please give this a thumbs up it's highly appreciated and I like like a right so I managed to fix my camera for some reason it wasn't working and it just literally completely turned off so let's get on to the get to know me question so I'm just gonna go on Google and type in get to know me questions and I'm gonna pick some so I've gone on a website called tagquestions.net and I'm gonna pick the ones that seem interesting because I don't just want to be like you know what is your name where are you from? Things like that that you already know I'm not going to answer because I just think it's pointless. So I'm going to choose some that I like, some that, you know, I think that you don't know about me and then we will get going. I Like I said, I will leave these um, questions linked down below as well. Um, and yeah, let's get on. So, the first question is, what does your name mean? So my name is Jordan and... My name is actually Hebrew and it means the flow of a river. I'm sure somewhere in the world it means something different, but everything that I've seen to go on to find out the meaning of my name, that is the meaning that I find, the flow of a river. So very boring really, but I can't complain because I do own a lot of things. I say own, I'm talking about like the cereal that are named after Jordan, the country Jordan, the trainers Jordan. I'm sure there's another thing that's named after me. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Um, second question that I'm going to pick is if you had to change your first name what would you change it to now I don't know if a lot of you know me know me I don't know if I don't know if a lot of you know this but my middle name is actually Lacey that is why my channel is called Jordan Lacey um, and I kind of wish the two was flipped so that my first name was Lacey and then my middle name was Jordan I just feel like Lacey is a more girly name I'm not really a fan of my name I think it's a more boy name I know it's a unisex name but I just really don't like it okay third question is what are your favorite things about yourself um I don't really have a lot of favorite things like about myself um I don't really know why I answered that to be fair I don't really have a lot of favorite things about myself I don't really know what this question entitles or means I'm trying to film here bloody helicopters I want to say the favourite things about myself is that I think I'm kind I say like this because I think I'm kind a lot of people think that I'm not um, I think that's about it I think I'm just a nice person third one I'm going to answer is which of your parents are you closest to definitely my mum probably because I live with my mum um, but also because I grew up with my mum. I did have a dad. I do have a dad in my life. I see him most of the time. But my mum and dad split up when I was six. And then I moved to live with my mum. Um, and that's just the way it's been since then. So yeah, I would say I'm more closest to my mum. This fourth question I'm going to ask is, are your grandparents still married? Both of my grandparents are still married. However, if you watched my first video that I put back onto YouTube, which is my What's In My Bag video, I actually sadly lost one of my grandparents um, 
in December so they both are still married but obviously one of my grandparents is now widowed <coughs> fifth question is what relative was important to you growing up and why it was my granddad that unfortunately passed away he was the most important part of my life I really looked up to him and he was just there for me all of the time whenever I needed a problem he would solve it he was the one that spoiled me the most so I really looked up to him and now I look up to him in the sky so yeah 17 this question 17 but it's question 6 next one is what would your parents have named you if you're the opposite gender my name would have actually been Callum so very different from Jordan but yeah my main my name would have been Callum then what do your what do you call your grandparents so I have two sets of grandparents and I basically just call them nanny and granddad I always have done I don't really see the point in naming them different things obviously if I was of a different authentic efficiency um if you didn't know my stepdad is Greek so I guess you would say my grandparents from him are called my yaya and papo but i don't really call them yet that because my mom and stepdad are not married but yeah um what is your best physical feature i really like my eyes i just i think they complement my face i hate my face shape so i feel like my eyes and my hair kind of complements that and makes it look less fat 20 what is your biggest accomplishment i would say my biggest my biggest accomplishment is not giving up YouTube because when I first started I had I think 20 subscribers for almost about half a year and then gradually went up and up and up and as you can see now I'm only on 276 or something like that and I've been on here for over three years um, but I just keep telling myself that if I want to gain big subscribers then I have to like you know keep doing youtube and just sticking to it and as you can see i don't have a schedule on here i just kind of upload when and where because i do have a full-time job um and yeah things like that that get in the way and my job is very full on i am a nursing teacher so there's meetings books um paperwork observations things like that that have to be done on a certain deadline so i tend to do youtube on the side so that's not getting into the way next question is what is your eye color my eye color is hazel but sometimes it looks green i'm not sure if you can tell on camera but yeah i actually really love my boyfriend's eyes my boyfriend's eyes are like greeny blue um really nice my belly is rumbling oh my <clears throat> 27 who is your favorite actor i'm answering these as they go along in the number order but obviously i'm not answering every single question so who's your favourite actor? Now, my favourite actor when I was younger was actually Tan Channing Tatum, but I'm kind of leaning towards Tom Holland. I don't know if that's because I've been watching so much Spider-Man and Avengers since lockdown, but yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards Tom Holland. Who is your favourite actress? Um, I don't really have a favourite actress at the moment. If I can think of one that I really like at the moment, I'll leave a picture of what she looks like on the screen because at the moment I can't think at the top of my head. So, um, Who's your favourite person in the world? My favourite person in the world, I'm going to be a bit of, um, I don't know the word for it, hypocrite? I don't really think it's hypocrite. Um, but yeah, my favourite person in the world is actually my family. I know it's a person. If I had to pick one person in my family who's probably my most favourite is probably my brother. But that's because I'm with him 24-7. Um, and then probably my sister and my boyfriend. You know, just like the family. I can't really choose between one. I have too many. Um, <clears throat> what is your favourite drink? So I will tell you alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So my favourite alcoholic drink, I actually have moved over to Malibu. I know that's probably not the strongest drink out there, um, but I'm not a strong drinker. I used to drink Malibu, not Malibu, I used to drink Archer's and Lemonade and then kind of moved more towards Malibu when I was in Spain, in Mallorca on holiday. They didn't have Archer's, so I was drinking Malibu and Coke and it seemed to really fit my taste buds so now i'm a malibu and coke kind of girl also malibu and pineapple is really nice i'm gonna try that soon um and then non-alcoholic is actually fanta's guess my flavor 
it's an apple flavoured Fanta and it's really really nice it's in a green bottle but it's really nice there's police sirens going off okay next question what is your favourite holiday destination now this one I have to say is probably Spain because I've been to Spain probably since I was about six maybe even four years old um, and I've not really been anywhere else um, yeah I've been to Spain I have been to other countries of course but I would say Spain is probably my most favourite holiday destination next question is what is your favourite music genre <coughs> or genre I like a lot of pop and r and I'm not really one for the hard the hard like gangster music um, as I always call it but yeah I'm more of like a subtle R&B slash pop kind of girl I do like a bit of country now and then but I'm not really a big fan of country next question is what is your favorite quote I'll leave it on the screen but it is um I loved you once I loved you once I loved you before something like that I'll leave it on the screen of what my favourite quote is because I can't actually remember it, but yeah. I did actually want to get this as a tattoo, fun fact, um, along my spine, but then I chickened out because I was like, it's going to hurt and no numbing cream will solve that. So yeah, fun fact about me if you didn't know. What is your favourite song? My favourite song at the moment has got to be, let me just find it. My favourite song at the moment is called More Hearts Than Mine by Ingrid Andres. If you haven't heard that song, go and check it out. It's a country um, slash breakup slash sad song and it just gets you in your feels. Um, if you would like me to do like a playlist kind of video, then leave my comment down below letting me know. Um, and also give this video a thumbs up. And I'll definitely do that because I really wanted to do it, but it's just like copyright reasons. I don't really know how I would do it, things like that. But I think I might do that. It's a new video idea. Right, moving on. Next question is, what is your all-time favourite town or city and why? So, if you didn't know, like, I live in London, <clears throat> but my favourite city um, has probably actually got to be New York. I don't know if you'd cast that as a city, but yeah, I've never actually been. I was meant to go to New York, I think, two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and then my baby brother arrived, and obviously that cost a lot of money because he's an IVF baby if you didn't know and then New York got shipped out of the question um it is still in progress and in plan I will get to New York one day um but yeah I think New York is my favorite town or city I'm going to sneeze <clears throat> next question is what was your favorite subject in high school high school um is called secondary school in the UK if you are an American viewer um so my favorite subject in secondary school was actually child development I don't know if many um, secondary schools do that now but I did it but we could only get that in year nine so from year seven to year eight I think we didn't have child development I'm pretty sure I didn't I can't actually remember but yeah that was my favorite subject um, as well as English and then the second question along to that is what was your least favorite least favorite was maths I did my maths GCSE six times so that's going to be a bit confusing if you um don't know what i'm talking about but i had to retake maths twice in secondary school as a gcse because i failed it um you do one in year 10 and then you do another one in year 11 i'm not sure if that is the law um but in my school that's what i did and then i went to college and i had to do it again because i needed a maths gcse or equivalent to a maths gcse which is a functional skills level two to actually pass my qualification in childcare so I did that um, once in college and I got a level one in maths which I was surprised to even pass and then I had to do it again when I went to do my level three childcare and I failed that twice so I had to do that again so like six times maths qualification really bad um, eventually I did pass but yeah I even did maths tutoring in secondary school didn't help me at all um, next question what was your favorite tv show when you was a child my favorite tv show was out of the box and high five i'll leave pictures of what they look like on the screen because you if you're not a 90s baby like i was a late 90s baby and that was all i watched was high school musical i mean milkshake channel and channel five was the best 
time of my life from like literally 6 a.m. to like 8 p.m. not 8 p.m. 8 a.m. it was just milkshake shows like Fifi and the Flower Tops, Bob the Builder, um, Bill and Ben, you know, all of that cool stuff, really good. Next question is, are you scared of heights? Yes, definitely. I mean, who isn't? Probably just me, but you know. Next question is, are you a good cook? I am a good cook when it comes to cooking things that is quite simple. So like pasta, ready-made meals, oven meals, I can cook. Give me a really complex meal and trust me, I would burn the house down. If you haven't looked at my baking stories on Instagram, check them out as well because one of them didn't come out great and I ended up buying a shop bought cake. I have this whole plan of buying a cake, not buying making a cake for my nan so buying like a shop brought cake mix and making a cake um that didn't turn out well my cake literally looked like a piece of poo on a tray um, <clears throat> so yeah i ended up going buying a shop brought cake in the end next question is what is good about how you are living your life right now um i guess being off work is a good thing right now because you know we have time to spend with our families and stuff Amid this whole coronavirus situation, it's really bad, I know, but spending time with your family, which you wouldn't have got done if this happened, kind of brings you an insight of, like, you should spend time with your family when you can, because it really does mean the most to you. Like, my mum has literally just gone back to work three days ago, and I miss her. She's been with me for the past ten weeks, and now she's not here. Um, my, step goes, my stepdad goes back to work in July, and then I don't go back till September, so I have been off for probably nearly a whole three months, which is, I just, I can't get my head around that, that I haven't done anything for three months, I've literally been so lazy, um, but at least we've had good weather for it, hey? Okay, next question I'm going to go is, who has left the most impact on your life? The most impact person who made a big impact on my life was, of course, my granddad. Um, you probably won't want to hear all of this, like, he's gone blah de blah de blah But I'm answering these truly, and he did leave a massive impact on my life, because I didn't really go and see my nan and granddad as much as I probably should have, because I live about an hour away from them, so it was really hard to get round to them, because I don't have a car, and at this time, my mum was working, and my boyfriend was working, and things like that, so... Yeah, it was really hard to go and see them, and unfortunately, every hospital that my granddad would go to would be one in central London, and that's really hard to get to. So, when, like, he did die and he passed away, it was really hard for me to kind of convene with that, because, as you can tell, I didn't really go and see him, so I never really got to spend a lot of time with him, um, and that gave a huge impact into my life, that, you know, you should spend time with your family members as much as you can. Next question is, can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows? Let's see. I think I can. You tell me, but I think I can. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? Fun fact about me, yes I can. I'm not going to do it because I have a full face of makeup on, but I can do it. Um, next question is, do you save old greeting cards and letters or throw them away? I actually save all of my birthday cards. Um... I like sentimental things that people have given me so I've actually got all of my first birthday cards um, a few of my 13th and all of my 18th I think I've got probably a few more of my birthday cards um, but I tend to keep things like that just because I think they're really sentimental and as you grow up you can like kind of like see all of the people that gave you cards and things like that I think it's really nice the next question is do you spell the colour as grey with an E or grey with an A I spell it with a E but if I was to have a child and um, I named them grey, probably would say it with a A instead, just because it looks a lot nicer. Um, next question is, do you have a garden? Yes, I do, and there is going to be a garden tour on my channel very soon, when it's all completely done. I've never done one, but I just thought it would be really nice, because we have recently done up our garden, and it just looks the bomb so I thought that I would do a garden tour so a garden tour is pending keep an eye out for that if you would like to see that next question is do you have a tattoo I actually have two tattoos so I have this one on my um, wrist 
not my wrist, my palm. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's just a love heart. I actually got this done when I was 16 in Cyprus, and this is matching with my mum. And then most recently I got, I don't know if you can see this one here. I'm trying to show you as well as I can. I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like because it looks better. Um, this I actually got done... I think last year in August with my best friend this is actually matching as well and it's just a rose and then um, entwined into the uh, stem it says always I really love this tattoo and I was very hesitant on getting a wrist tattoo because I know that they can hurt but I love this and I sometimes even forget this is here and then when the tattoo shops open I actually want to go and get two more tattoos um, I'm not going to tell you what they are because I do plan on doing a tattoo tour um, video on my channel once those are done because I just feel like two tattoos are a bit pointless to film one of those videos. Um, but yeah, when they come, I will film a tattoo tour video for you guys. Next question is, do you have any allergies? Yes, I do. It's a really weird allergy though. So I'm actually allergic to Dove products, um, which is the shower, uh, the shower products and things like that. I found it out really weird one day. I used a um, Dove shower gel and then the next day I was itching and it was like I was breaking out in hives it was horrible and the only thing that would get rid of it was um, allergy tablets so I assumed that it was an allergy I haven't actually got tested that I'm like tested that I'm allergic to it yet but I just kind of stay away from that just in case because it was the worst night of my life when that happened okay next question is do you have any pets yes I do I have one dog and three cats. I did have four, but one passed away, unfortunately. The next question is, do you have any birthmarks? And if so, where? Yes, I do have a birthmark. I have a birthmark on my um, shoulder blade here. It basically looks like um, chocolate. It is literally like a circle full of freckles, but that is my birthmark. And a lot of people have actually said to me, Jordan, you've got chocolate smeared onto your back. And I've actually had to tell them that, no, that is my birthmark. Right. Next question is, who was the last person you ate dinner with? My stepdad and my little brother. Next question is, who sent the last text message you received? Let's see, because I think that is a good question. The last, the last message I received was actually from iTunes telling me that I've been charged £20 for playing a game. Hmm. Okay, next question is, who was your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend was in primary school. I was in year three at the time, so I think I was about six or seven. And I stayed with him all the way until year six. So I think three years, four years. And fun fact, he actually broke up with me to get with my best friend. and They didn't even last a day. I don't talk to him now, we was best friends in primary school, I don't talk to him now, I never have, um, I went to the same secondary school as him, but we didn't even speak in that either, we would just be like, you know, do that if we saw each other in public, but apart from that, we don't really talk now. Um, next question is, how far away from your birthplace do you live now? I live an hour away, I was actually born in Barnet and now I live in Edmonton. Um, next question is, how many relationships have you been in? I have been in six, I believe, but most of them was um, not serious. So I've only had two serious relationships, and that is the one that I'm in now, and then obviously my first ever boyfriend because we was together for a long time. Apart from that, they've just been like, you know, like that one week, three week, maybe a month type of boyfriend. Um, nothing really serious until now. I've been with my boyfriend nearly six years oh my lord um all right next question is have you ever suffered a fracture yes i have i've never broken a bone in my body but i have suffered multiple fractures i've actually fractured my um elbow i dislocated it. i don't know if that's the same thing as fractured i'm not sure i've done my wrist i've cracked my head open a few times you know I was a clumsy girl when I was younger. Um, next question is, what is your star sign? I'm a Cancer. I was born on July 14th, so that is a Cancer. And I love it. I love being a Cancer. Next question is, what, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister? 
<laughs> I think I would probably want my sister to be some kind of like award winning actress with an Oscar, maybe, you know, bronze award, I don't know. A really highly educated, famous actor. I don't really know who I could tell. Next question. What is under your bed? Lots and lots of boxes and crap that I don't want anyone else to see in my room. Right guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.